that is another Heavenly King down. And I think we're all done now, right? Straight up, we defeated Thanatos, or at least the, the, the dwarf guy, right? That was another Heavenly King done. And then Baldi out of nowhere shows up, just one strikes the other Heavenly the King, and now we're done. But technically, he turned into a baby, and now we're supposed to figure out why does he turn into a baby, right? Let's begin today's reaction, though. Bro just turned into a baby. He's still bald, though. <laughs> He actually pissed himself. <laughs> Are we gonna see baby cock in this? Do I need to skip this shit? I don't want to get fucking canceled on Twitch. Again. I don't get fucking banned. Are they gonna show? I, are they gonna actually show a baby dick? I I can't do this. I can't. Are they? Are they going to? Please don't. Please don't. Special skills, childishness, level max, being spoiled, level late. Imme what the fuck are these skills? He's an actual just baby class. Why? Why does he turn into a baby? Surely the dad is not gonna start going all goo goo gaga onto his own daughter, right? Because again, this is his daughter. And if he has some kind of weird fetish of being like, you know, being doted on by like a mommy, but that's your daughter, that's taking it to the next level. Don't, don't do it. She is still a bitch, dude. God, she's so annoying. Just like, screenshot this and send this to your friend and, and tell them, like, doesn't watch anime and, and try to convince them to watch anime. Father, please calm down. If you're naughty, monsters will appear while she's talking to a fucking baby. I would imagine this is like some kind of, um... Like, because the king is so strong, this is the one thing that... It, it's, it's like a contract. It's some kind of fucked up contract, right? For being able to be granted that much power, he has the shitty shortcoming of turning into a baby. Demon Lord Curse? They don't know? They said probably. God, she's still so annoying, dude. <laughs> I love how it continues to make her mad, though. She sucks. The bar is just called Sake. Rista likes that. <laughs> Maybe Rista likes drunk people looking at her, but we might get mixed up with one. A fight will break her. Let's do it. Let's fight some people at the bar. Also, by the way, there's like 12-year-old kids in our group. I don't think we can just go to a bar like that. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Let's go in. Let's go in. Well, honestly, it's like, yes. Like, why the fuck would Seiya ever go into a casino, right? Because he is the most cautious dude ever. If the bets aren't, like, beyond 100%, he's, he would never go. Like, casinos are risks that you're going to lose no matter what. See, degenerate gambler me would go and see. Seiya sees 1% chance, and he says, no, this is dumb. To me, I see that 1% chance and goes, well... It's not zero, right? You never know, maybe! The really ball is very, very tiny. But there it is. Wait, there it is right there. You see that right there? But she's holding in her fucking hands. That's how small the braid is. Yeah, I feel like we can relax today. You know? Valkyrie calls her that? I didn't know that! Also, what about that training, huh? What about that training? Sexiness? Wait, what did, did you say? This is why Valkyrie calls you a third-rate goddess. Did she play defense there? Okay, she's just kidding. Oh, I thought she's saying that she's even sexier than Valkyrie. I'm like, cow. Honestly, Rista... If Rista wasn't the main girl like this and being like having so many comedy scenes and calling her stinky and having her do dumb shit, I and, and if she was just like a random goddess that we see for like an episode or something, I bet that people would have a much more favorable opinion of Rista because she is very attractive. Like she is like on paper, just like design wise, she's fine. But like the more you get to know her, the more you realize like she's kind of like Aqua from Konosuba. Not the dumb part, but like, the more you get to learn about this hot waifu, the more you realize that, holy shit, they're not very attractive anymore. I feel like I'm sister zoning you. <laughs> Limited time, better buy then. <laughs> Yo, go to Phoenix Driver. You're gonna Phoenix Drive your shop. If you're lying, I'll burn your shop down. Absolutely. 
I'm not lying about their effectiveness. I am lying about that, you know, limited fucking thing though. See what he did there? He 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 fucking admitted right there. He lied about the marketing tactics saying it's limited. <laughs> we haven't had that happen yet. Why has Rista has Rista actually healed Seiya? Has there maybe there has been a moment where Rista actually was healing Seiya, but I I think that we haven't really seen too many moments of Rista healing Seiya. Or I would remember it distinctly, but maybe there has been moments where she the scratch? Oh yeah, there was like a tiny scratch, but like she hasn't really used it seriously, huh? Bro, you're comparing your shitty medicinal herbs against the healing of a goddess. What happened to this guy? Heal him, please! Watch the healing herbs do better. Alright, let's duel. <laughs> God, she's going to Mega McPower again. <laughs> <laughs> One minute later. Okay, what about the goddess? Are you serious? This random shop owner just defeated a goddess in the fucking healing? Holy shit. Because <laughs> the herb is called Greater Medicinal Herbs. So Rista is now called Lesser Medicinal Herb Girl. Not only is Rista stinky, she sucks at healing too, apparently. Is that the voodoo doll? I forgot that she had the voodoo doll, man. Some monster ate it. What do you mean? A heavenly king was there, dumbass? Yo, why is he a baby? Okay, 30 year war going on. Damn, he's fucking over 80 years old? The curse. So randomly, he just turned into a baby as he was just going off to Castlevania. Interesting. That's it? Okay. Yeah, no shit. He's like over 80. Okay. I... Sentimental story, but she's still a bitch. No. <laughs> How about we make the Warmaster fight for us because we're cautious. Why put ourselves in danger when we can make the Warmaster fucking do it? I think Koenji from Classroom of the Elite would also agree with me. But Warmaster is like one foot into the grave right now. He's beyond 80. Let him fucking finish the Demon Lord. I feel like we deserve better because we're younger and we have a brighter future ahead than the Warmaster. <laughs> Let the Warmaster handle it. Never mind. He's not as twisted as me. Cautious hero is saying. I have that fucking seen out geezer. <laughs> It's a liability, so I don't need him. But you've seen his powers. Like, his one shot was insane, man. What? Senile geezer. Alright, he's back. You turn into a baby, don't you remember? Does the king actually not remember what happens after? Because he just said, I don't know what happened after. So he doesn't even know he has a curse? That's right, geezer, I don't need your help. He took some damage there. <laughs> but he's pretty legit. If you can get that attack off. Showing the goddess our vaunted cathedral? Oh shit. Another attack. Here we go. Maybe Warmaster will pop off again. Oh wait. Say it really? Really? Yeah, what's the cathedral? It seems like a plot point. Oh, cathedral was based off of some goddess plot. Which goddess was it? He should have been the hero, man. He's not wrong, though. And you stink! The more talent a person has, the more their personality is often twisted. I think this is like a line of like, if you're like smarter, the more like fucked you are in the head. That's like, if you're dumber, the more like innocent and pure you'll be. Because like the more intelligence you have, the more you'll realize on how to like manipulate people and do stuff like that. Basically, I don't know, Cody. Gods are able to live eternally. Important plot. Soul currently dwelling in your body is a virtual soul. Why do gods and goddesses live forever? Oh wait, important plus. They know about the divine realm. They know about it. Oh. It's basically, we, I don't know, it's not, it's not a clone here, but basically because it's a fake soul here and we got the real one back in the divine realm, 
goddesses can never die. Sure. That's right. And when Seiya died, or whatever happened, assuming that Arya summoned Seiya, did he then lose the memory? The real soul is back on Earth. In this world, everything is just a virtual soul, not just for the humans, for the gods as well. But the people that live in here, obviously, it is the real souls for them. Okay, important plot. Magic? Why is he looking so sinister right now? Is the War Master being evil right now? What, why, why, are we, why am I getting intimidated by the War Master right now? What's going on? What magical item? Chain destruction. Sounds like Valkyrie, because she's the Hakaishin. And he just chains everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she moaning like that? Okay. <laughs> okay, it's 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 like a deadly weapon to break apart a virtual soul, causes a chain reaction and spreads back to the real soul. Okay, okay, okay we can kill a goddess with this weapon. Why would you tell this to us? What why what why, why is the war master telling us that hey, hey, this is a chapel I want to show you. Wait. Wait! Is he the heavenly king? Is he a demon lord? What's going on? Why did he be like, oh, Seiya, there's some threats happening. Go take him out while I take your goddess to this cathedral I'm going to show you. Okay. Hey, Rista, did you know that you can die with this weapon? Where are we going with this? Huh? The demon lord has already created one. What is that weapon? <laughs> why do you have that? Hey, why, why is the War Master looking like the Demon Lord right now? Hey, we're not, you're not using it. I thought you were just explaining it. Why is it activating? War Master, what you doing? God Eater. Okay. He's just telling us to be careful, right? He's not going to use it, right? <laughs> You are going to die right here. No, he's not just telling us to be cautious, you motherfucker. Why would he do this? Warmaster, you part of the demons? Okay. The curse. The curse. The whole truth. What is this demon lord, man? So he's just jealous that he never could become an actual hero summoned by a goddess. Now he's fucking taking his revenge on the goddess and the he is he the Seiya? What the fuck? That's it? His power. Okay, Demon Lord is a guy, not a waifu, unfortunate. Just like a baby submitting to his father, he started crying. The curse. He just turned into a baby, but oh, okay, there's some, there's some plot gap here that's not explained thoroughly, but basically, he, real, he got manipulated by the Demon Lord's words, he got fucking, he's, he's like, oh my god, you're so powerful, and you're right, why am I not the hero, now he's jealous, and now the Demon Lord is whispering into his ears to fucking kill the goddess and say, uh, so both father and daughter no. sucks, he's treated worse, but why would you kill the heavenly demon king, though, you know? Why would you actually kill the demon king, the, the heavenly kings, if they're part of the demon lord's army, if... Here's the way I see it happening. Maybe the heavenly kings are not important because throughout season one, and I don't know how long this light novel or the manga is, but, like, it's season one, we already killed four of them. So maybe at the end of the day, the heavenly kings don't matter. And as long as, as, long as we're just kind of playing defense for the demon lord, that's all that matters. Maybe the demon lord will summon the separate set of fucking heavenly kings in season two. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> she dodged that pretty well. She did dodge all of Seiya's like, comical attacks before too. Oh god, here we go. Well, are we going to get fan service? Where's that going? Where's, where's that going? I've seen too much hentai too, you know. Where's that going? Where's that going? <laughs> Seiya will show up, right? Maybe Eruru Mesh? Seiya! Nah, nah, nah. He's gonna show up right now. Boom! Ready perfectly! Wait, that's not Seiya? Seiya knew though. Oh, there he is! Wonder how he knew. 
girl, you're supposed to catch her. You're supposed to catch the damsel in distress and have a cool intro scene and say something really cool and say, I'm gonna fight you, demon lord. Sorry, you fucking baldy. He just let her fall! <laughs> look, look, look. Saves her. Catch the princess. No, fuck you. I'm too busy. That's actually pretty good form. Okay, he said that. See, get away from the woman is what you're supposed to say after you catch Rista in your arms like a hero, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. Stay operates differently. I would what? Because she's a glorified fucking portal. She doesn't matter. It's not like without Rista, I can't live. It's like without Rista, I can't fucking go home. She's my instant travel. Did you just kick her? Look at the back feet. Bob, he did kick her like a horse. Probably. He just being super cautious. That means that he was already like thinking that Baldi betrayed us then. Pretending to be dead. Returned as a ghost and then possessed. Perhaps the demon lord. Okay, sure. There's a lot of perhaps going on right now. How? There is no way you could have possibly thought about this though. Bro, he just made like 10 different logical conclusions. Like, he made like 10 different assumptions, but all were on fucking point and somehow landed perfectly. <laughs> that perhaps exactly. We need to kill the fucking goddess too. That's right, it's just pure schizophrenia. That's what's happening right now. Yeah, it's an impossible level of consciousness. Really? You would kill your daughter? Honestly? You dreamed about killing your daughter as you- No, 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 the, the, the wording here is just coming after the part he said, I would kill you too, though, but it, 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 this is pretty funny. How he immediately says, I'm, I would, I'm, I'm not gonna hesitate to cut you down too. I dreamed about it ever since I was little. No, 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 he's not saying the killing part, but let him go. So then he just, yeah. He basically got salty that he was not the hero. So he's like, it should have been me, why not me? And the demon lord basically coerced him into siding with him and now he just being a fucking jealous bitch. <laughs> just don't get hit. Double eternal sword. This boy, why is he already puking blood? What? All he said was mode. Oh, he, oh, we. I thought Sid did something there. It's just Baldi's like pretty much almost dead, so he's coughing up blood. Wait, another power up. Here we go, second phase. Some cliche second phase. Wait! <laughs> I didn't realize that uh, the power up would fucking enhance your hair. Do you see this? <laughs> He's got more hair now. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. If this is straight up nickel fucking pill that people would take in MS and Shadow, but okay. <laughs> got a lot more hair now. Oh my god! Whoa! Yo! Is this how he used to look like? The stats! Yo! Dude! He actually looks pretty sick! He actually looks pretty sick! Look at this shit! Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me cast that one frame. Yeah, the muscles. But the hair, though. Damn! Okay, okay. This is actually pretty sick. Isn't it crazy what, like, having hair does? Isn't it crazy? <laughs> all that really- Well, uh, technically his face, you know, the wrinkles and all that shit. He just basically became like a much younger prime version of himself. But goddamn, look at him, dude. Looking like Sephiroth with black hair. It's a lot of stats, man. Level 90. Demonkin. Did the voice actor change too? Damn. Yo, we might actually lose? Wait? Because we've been so cautious before. Also, yeah. He's doing that shit again. EX? When did you get that? So this is, again, more fake out, right? 
Surely this is playing into how we actually don't know how strong Seiya is because he's using new fucking skills out of his ass and plan he's hiding his shit. Still? Into the world you come from. The demon lord knows about Earth? <laughs> wait, wait, he had the tiniest cut here. He had the tiniest little scratch that made him bleed a little bit. He just used a greater fucking herb on that. <laughs> That's kind of wasted. Same. What the fuck? Oh, this is a Rock Lee moment. Wait, are you telling me you had these weighted things on the entire time? Oh my god, how many do you even have? Holy shit, he has seven of them in one fucking arm. What? 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 Surely he's got some on the legs too, right? Oh, that's not seven. That's like fucking, I don't even know how many there are now. They're just coming out of his ass now. Since when have you been doing this? You caught that so nonchalantly. When do we have that? I hope he has more weights on his legs. <laughs> Dude, the name of the skill was too long, he just fucking skipped it. <laughs> no, not yet. A little bit more. <laughs> too fucking long. Alright, skip. Phoenix Tribe. Maybe he forgot. All right, this is a scuffed animation. We're just doing this now. Does he? What is this? Fucking Mahoraga, he keeps adapting, dude. As soon as he sees something, he adapts to it. Damn. Well, we just need to hit him with an attack that he can't adapt to. Did he? Did he though? He didn't say it. Oh shit, he didn't say his catchphrase. I'll help you go in. What, really? I'd be fine with the blue hair girl dying, to be honest. Oh yeah, what you got now? That's a new skill. I haven't heard Phoenix Thrust before. It's always in Phoenix Drive. No! What's an arm god? No, no one say it. This is all part of the plan, right? No shot. No shot. No shot. See? How? Probably has like pain resistance or some shit. I cut yours too! Ooh! This is what we learned! Wait, 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 wait. This is the technique we learned in bed with Valkyrie, right? The Night Valkyria. So you take injury and returns any damage. So basically, if they cut our arm, his arm gets cut off too. Counter break. That's busted. Is he actually fucking countering with his fist against that fucking sword? That's kind of crazy. You know, I'm surprised he hasn't turned into a baby yet. And we win? Fuck your dad and you. Finally! Rista's actually gonna be useful. And heal his arm? Oh, finally. You know what? You know you know what I think would have been a great part like that was missed? Like if the Warmaster like turned into a baby mid-fight and Seiya like still killed, you know? Cause he's always cautious. Like he wouldn't like show mercy on a baby. He would just straight up kill the baby. Now can we show that in anime? I'm not sure. Maybe that's kind of beyond fucked up, but I think that would have been hilarious. Okay, he's being a baby. He's being a baby. Kill him. Kill him. Execute your baby dad. What? Then kill him. Yo! Yo! That was a fucking vicious slap! 
That was not a comical slap this time. Boom! Holy shit! Another one. Boom! Boom! Oh, yeah, yeah! yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Seiya being awfully cool right now while slapping the shit out of this girl. <laughs> Basically, this is for closure for Rosalie, I think. The one last head pat. No, I'm not gonna feel sad for her. Both of the dad and the daughter sucks. They honestly are trash characters, dude. I'm upset that there is actually good closure for Rosalie. Poor Rosalie? Fuck that bitch, dude. I hate her. She sucks. Say I need to slap her more. You think I'm gonna cry over this emotional scene? No, she deserves worse, dude. Abuse? We need to abuse her even more. This... This empire is doomed if she's taking up the throne, dude. Knowing her, she will make a fine ruler? Did you not remember what happened against the fucking flies? She's so stupid. She sucks. The empire is beyond fucked. Fine ruler, my ass. Bro, we should make the lesser... The, the, the herb dude. The fucking greater herb guy. The merchant dude rule this fucking kingdom. At least he made better potions than the goddess. What the fuck is Rosalie gonna do other than make irrational decisions? It'd be funny if he was in bed. Not after the third day. But like, he was fine after like the first hour. But he just like staying in bed. Just to be more cautious. <laughs> Go and see the casino kids before this training freak wakes up. Yes, nothing like promoting gambling and casinos to underage children. Perfect, Rista. Amazing goddess you are. <laughs> he heard all of that. <laughs> Pathological what? <laughs> Rista, you smell like <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey. hey, it's her voodoo doll. Oh shit, the credits are rolling without the ending. Oh, now you're... Oh, now you're saying casino bad? <laughs> She's really sucking up right now. Usually she hates the training. Oh, relax? Really? Really? Probably not. Really? We're just sending the kids to the casino? She's looking very deranged. Even the pedestrians are looking at them like, what the fuck is going on with this goddess? What's he thinking? There's gotta- No, we're getting beta, man. There's gotta be a, some ulterior motive, but that's the episode. I think in terms of actual fights, this is probably the most, like, uh, coolest fight, right? I don't know. Just, like, the whole transformation scene. I The transformation went harder than I thought. I thought that usually, like, especially because we've watched so much Eminence in Shadow where they take, like, a power-up pill and they just turn into this, like, monsterized form and it just looks lame. But old man just got his hair back. He just looks so cool, dude. Like, this form is really cool. I think this is actually really cool. Um, In terms of plot, I guess it's interesting how we are, like, a, a new weapon, right? It's like a, a god slayer, but also basically the concept of virtual souls but their actual souls are back either back on earth or in the divine realm so they can't die unless you have this weapon that the demon lord's gonna use so again i don't think that we're gonna fight the demon lord in this season right we only have like what like episodes like this is like episode 10 so we have like 11 and 12 right two episodes left can we really wrap up the season by killing the demon lord? Honestly, at this pace, it's feasible, but I just... Because people are begging for season two, I just don't know, but we'll see. But if, hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.